Good morning, you guys. So, today is Monday, and I want to make a smoothie for breakfast because I went grocery shopping a little bit yesterday and I bought some smoothie makings, so I figured that would be fun to do this morning. Um, I got cherries because I love cherries. They're probably my favorite fruit ever. And then I got this cool, um, this yummy mixture. It's pineapple, mango, matcha green tea, and banana. So I thought that would be really good. And obviously I won't need my coffee this morning because I'll have matcha instead. So I'm just gonna hurry and grab my Nutribullet and then we'll get to making that. I haven't made a smoothie in a long time. So I'm trying to think of how I should do it. I think I'm gonna put in some almond milk first. So we'll do like that much for now. Yeah. Mmm, these look good. I'm gonna have to grab a cup so it doesn't stain my fingers. Okay, I got a third cup. So let's see how many cherries that does. I think we definitely need more. Because I love me some cherries. Okay, there's the cherries. So I've got two of the matcha things in here. Whoops. I think that's probably good enough. I don't want too much matcha because I don't want my heart racing. So there's two pineapples, one banana slice, one mango, two matchas, another pineapple. Okay, I guess we'll do one more matcha, a couple mangoes, and a little slice of pineapple. Okay, that's probably more than enough. So let's make that now. I think I need a little bit more almond milk. Okay, well that didn't work very well. I think I might need to add more almond milk. I don't know, maybe it's just too frozen for this blender. Maybe this blender's a little weak. I don't know. Okay, that's what this looks like so far. That looks pretty good, but I need to grab a spoon. Wow, that was fun. lid on and all that after I clean that up. Okay guys, I'm impressed. You guys hear that baby screaming? Goodness. Okay, but this smoothie is super delicious, but I was already cold before this smoothie, and now I'm gonna be freezing, so I'm gonna hurry and go get a jacket. Okay, I got my jacket, so I should be good now. Um, don't you guys love it how I don't get ready for you guys? You guys are just like, it's like Zach. He's like, I'm so comfortable with him that I don't really get ready, you know? Same with you guys. I'm just so comfortable with you that I don't even brush my hair, you know? Okay, wow. This jacket, oh my goodness. It's just what I needed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna drink this. And yeah, I'm just gonna drink this. It's a lot later now. Um. I finished drinking my smoothie. It was super good. I didn't add any sugar or anything in it like you guys saw, and it was really, really good. 
The only thing I didn't like, I'll show you guys, is that these were in it. Like, I don't know if they're from the pit of the cherries or what, but yeah, I really wasn't a fan of chewing down on that. I felt like they were going to break my teeth. So yeah, that's concerning. Now I am going to start juicing. It's my juicing day. I'm completely out of all my juices. Right before I started this video, I had the rest of my cleansing shots. And literally there was like three and a half shots in there. So yeah, um, that was tough, but I'll show you guys everything I'm going to be juicing this time. So I have a palmello. Um, they didn't have a grapefruit, so I thought that would work fine. I have three beets, um, some purple kel. I'm not quite sure if that's the actual name, but it's purple and it's kel. Cilantro. I'm actually going to put this in my cleansing shots. It's supposed to be really good for you. And then spinach. And then this celery looks so sad, but... I used this for dinner a couple nights ago, so I'm just going to use it in my juice. And then I also used these for dinner a few nights ago, so I'm going to use these carrots rather than the big ones. And that's everything I'll be juicing today. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, I also had a big old cucumber. So yeah, I think I'm going to do um, cucumber, cilantro, my palmello, and turmeric, pepper, and garlic in my cleansing shots. That's kind of a lot. So I don't know if I'll actually do all of that. And then in the juices, I'll do my celery, carrots, cilantro, no, not cilantro. Cilantro is going in the cleansing shots, spinach, kale, and the beets. So yeah, that honestly sounds pretty good to me. I think I actually have apples in the fridge too. Yep, I do have apples. So we'll be doing apples as well to make the juices taste a little bit better. But I'm just going to cut everything up now, and then we'll get to juicing. Palmello, and I started cutting the cucumber, but then I realized there's really not a point in me cutting it because I feel like that will juice perfectly fine. But yeah, um, I promise you the bowl isn't dirty. I've washed it a lot. It's just the turmeric. It's literally stained. So see, it won't come off. It's stained. But I'm going to start juicing the cleansing shots now. out I do have to cut the cucumber because it's too slimy. I'm a complete idiot. I didn't even put the thing that juices the cucumbers so the cucumber wasn't slimy it's just that it didn't have the part my juicer didn't have the part that it needed in it, so you're joking. I was thinking, wow, my freaking juicer is very dull if it can't juice a cucumber. Juicy. 
seen yesterday, but I wanted to show you guys what they look like the next day because they tend to separate a little bit. Can't really tell, I feel like, but all the pulp is right there. So, oh, it looks like there's some pulp down there as well. But yeah, that's what it, the juice looks like. I made two juices that I will drink throughout the week. And in those, there's kale, spinach, green apples, I wrote it down so I don't forget. And beets. I think that's it. And then I have my cleansing shots. And this is what the cleansing shots look like. They're usually a lot thicker because I like to juice um, a grapefruit or a palmello because I didn't see any grapefruits at the grocery store yesterday. So yesterday we did a palmello. So we'll see how it is. But in this one, there's the palmello, um, garlic, black pepper, turmeric, and cucumber yeah I think that's it so yeah that will be pretty good I think what caused the worm to come out of me on Sunday was the garlic so I'm trying to still stick to the garlic because yeah I feel like after drinking my shots last week too I noticed the biggest difference with my bloating. So, the only thing I did differently last week was the grapefruit and the garlic. So, that's what we're going to try to do again this week, but of course this week there's the palmetto. So I'm gonna take the shots now. I take two in the morning and two at night. Okay, that honestly smells super good. Oh, and there's cilantro in here. I forgot to mention that. Or did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Not too bad. That's honestly really good. It tastes very cilantro-y, but I love cilantro, so I don't mind. But one more. Mm. We did it. Now I'll start drinking this. I'll take, take a little taste of it for you guys. I like these to last me throughout the week, so I don't eat, drink a ton throughout the day. This is the straw I use specifically for juices because it's kind of already stained. Tastes good. Tastes a lot like beets. I'll just leave that in there. But that's it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys make juices at home, let me know. I wanna hear your guys' recipes because maybe there's something I could add or maybe specific juice recipes that I could try. And that would be kind of fun. But I'm going to drink some LaCroix now because I have not the best taste in my mouth from my juicing shots, so. But yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.